hi guys welcome to pg all in one in today's video we will learn how to file nil gstr1 return when you don't have any outward supply for particular tax spread and you need to file nil gstr return for that trade that is you don't have any purchase or sales for a particular trade suppose it's it is for july month so for filing nil gstr one nil return you need to log in in your account on gst website and go to return dashboard then select month for which you want to file gstr return then click on search button you will see your gstin financial year month for which you are filing the return this is the first return you will you will be filing on your gst website so the gst website will don't have any data related to your business so you will ask to fill your aggregate turnover for a previous year that is for 2016 17 and your total turnover for the period of april to june 2017 so your total turnover should include your total service and goods for the previous year that is 2016-17 and your total turnover for a period April to June 2017. Your total turnover should include total sales and goods supplies for the period. So now save the turnover data. Scroll down and tick on declaration that I acknowledge that all the above and click on that and you will and click on that and some click on submit the return button now you will get an error message error message that there is no summary to submit once you get this message go to offline utility tool and enter your gstin number enter aggregate turnover in the both row and click on proceed you will see on top that by default b2b data sheet is selected change it to b2c small detail 7 that is select type as other than e-commerce select place of supply as your your own state so it will be intrastate supply rate and value will be remain zero save the information so you will get a success message then on top click on view summary and generate the gson file this is dummy invoice just have no impact on your sale for the month so we don't do this just for gst website to accept our nil return now login in your gst account go to return dashboard select month for which you want to file gstr1 click on prepare or offline upload your gson file you will get a success message now go back and go to prepare online and you will see your turnover data is saved and rest of the tab has no data scroll down you will see one option to generate draft draft return click on it you will get message that your request is under process and you will get to view your draft return after one minute now check after one minute and you will get option to preview your return click on it and draft will be open in your browser tab so view it and go back to return screen click on declaration and submit the return you will get a message that once your return is submitted you will not be allowed to change the data in the return once you click on submit you will have to wait till the submit request get processed you won't be allowed to resubmit unless the earlier request is processed after submitting the return you can submit it with dsc or evc you need to file it with dvc or evc if you don't file your return on time uh, rupees 100 will be charged as a late filing fee now you will get a message that your gstr one return of gst ion has been filed successfully so this way you can file your new return of gst hope guys this will help you in filing your nil return thank you guys for watching please subscribe pg all in one and
हिट लाइक बटन थैंक यू गाइस